The two most common types of filters you'll find in an EQ are high pass, that's this guy here, and low pass filters. High pass filters pass the high frequencies and cut low frequencies. They're sometimes called low cuts. Low pass filters do the opposite, pass lows, cut highs, like so. And this is a high pass filter, and I'm going to set it at 94 hertz. And you can see as I raise the cutoff frequency of the filter, I simply cut out all of the lows. I'm only passing high frequencies. You can also adjust the slope of the filter, which is the roll-off characteristic below the cutoff point, like this. You can see here I've got a little gentle slope to thin out this guitar. Here it is bypassed, and you can see how it gets rid of that low-frequency thump, which might get in the way when you have bass and drums and other low-frequency stuff in there. This particular track doesn't need a low-pass filter, but this is what a low-pass filter sounds like. It would pass the lows and cut the highs. Maybe you'd use something like this if you had an overly bright track or if you had a lot of tape hiss, things like that. You're more likely to be using high-pass filters to get rid of rumble than you are using low-pass filters. Now this EQ I've been using is a Waves EQ, but the DigiDesign One Band EQ from the Digirack series has all of the EQ types we've looked at. High-pass filters, low-shelf, high-shelf, low-pass filters, and a parametric EQ band. The four band EQ has most of these things. You can see that it has high shelf and low shelf. There's the high shelf, low shelf, and parametric bands, two of them. It doesn't have high and low pass filters. You'd use the one band for that. 